to get this one to set up. There we go. All right. I got the phone to set up. I'm at work right now. Tell network. And it's uh, chilling. I'm at my lunch. Smoking my new atomizer. This one sucks. It's bigger because it holds more liquid. But it doesn't put out really a lot of good smoke. There you go. The one that I had before did better. Um, the one before this. So I'm not really too happy about this atomizer. So make by the one I had before is disposable. This one is not. All you gotta do is replace the the inside, and it's you know um, refillable. But the other one is disposable, so you use it for like two weeks, and then you have to throw it away. This one will last probably like a few months without replacing the insides of it. Um, I may just go back to disposable ones. It costs a little bit more because you got to pay eight bucks per um, disposable, but and it puts out more smoke, and it actually feels like you're getting a hit from a cigarette. This one doesn't do that. So right now, I need a cigarette. Uh, what else is going on? I hope that you're getting me. I'm not cut off or anything like that. Uh, what else is going on is um, this week marks the last week for Summer in the Park. And so we have the band called Two Tons of Steel coming in to um, perform the last concert for the summer year. And it could be a fun concert. Um, the president, Rick Bowen, told me that Two Tons of Steel always brings in the big crowds. So it's probably going to be a lot of people there, a lot more action. I'm hoping for it because I'm going to get it on video. And then, so I'm hoping for some really good turnout for this next concert, and it's going to be posted in the podcast feed of SHIELD. But it's also going to be on SEMPA.US, and that's S-M-P-A-A dot U-S or dot com. So you can go there and see it, subscribe to the podcast. You can download it on iTunes. I don't make the video file available directly on Shiz um, because you can get it from Simpa.us. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else is going on in my life? Just uh, trying to uh, work this new job now. The job is going great. It's, it's an okay job. It's, it's okay. It's not, not bad. Um, let's see. Um, so if you go to my Facebook page, you will notice that my wife and I have switched to open relationship. That's because we are in an open relationship. That means that we are allowed to date other people, right? Um, as long as we're honest with each other. And we thought about having a poly relationship going on here. That's something that we're thinking about uh, that may or may not happen, but we'll see. You know, we'll see how things go. I mean, we're not going to rush into it. It's going to let things happen as they happen. You know, um, I haven't got a girlfriend yet on the side. You know, like I said, if I do get a girlfriend, it's going to be somebody that she knows about. So, <sighs> Um, what else is going on? Oh, the Skittles video that I did, the Arizona Tea Skittles video, has received a lot of comments about Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman. And I swear, people are entitled to their opinions. Nothing I can say about that. There's nothing I can do to convince anybody of their own opinions. If they're going to have their opinions, they're going to have their opinions. There's nothing I can do about that. All I ask is that everybody respects each other. That's all I ask. You respect people's opinions. I fought this country so that you can have your own opinion in freedom of speech. So if you feel that Trayvon was in the wrong and George Zimmerman was right, that's your opinion. My opinion was 
George Zimmerman, whether Trayvon, Trayvon Martin was uh, fighting George and beating him down, doesn't matter. George Zimmerman should have never got out of his vehicle to confront the gentleman, the boy, the teenager, whatever. He should have never got out of his car. I don't care if Trayvon Martin had skittles in Arizona IC to create what they call purple haze. I never heard of that before. I, I don't do drugs. I, if I do smoke weed, I smoke weed maybe like once every two or three weeks. Okay? Uh, maybe once a month. I mean, the last time I smoked weed was last week. But before then, it was like a month ago. I don't smoke weed every single day. And that's just me. I don't down people who does. I'm 420 friendly, so it's not a problem with me if, if a person smokes weed every single minute of the day. Me? I don't, I don't require weed to operate. I don't need it. I, I, I smoke at night when I do smoke once or twice a month, and that's it. I'll be good for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. I'm good. I don't need weed to, to live on every single day. This is menthol tobacco juice. I smoke cigarettes. I think that's enough addiction. And I love sugar. That's another addiction. Addiction, excuse me. Addiction. It's an additional addition of addiction. Whatever. So, you know, um, the purple haze. I didn't know anything about that. Purple haze? What? <laughs> you make purple haze from Robotussin? Arizona iced tea and Skittles? Wow. That is a combination name. I can't tell you the many times I bought Skittles and Arizona iced tea and ate them both at the same time, and all I had to do to get high was to add a little bit of Robotussin in there. That's crazy. I never... I don't know anything about drugs, to tell you the truth. I don't know how... I don't know anything about drugs, to tell you the truth. The only thing I do know about is weed. But I don't even know how to roll my own joints. So I use pipes for that. And I don't have my own pipes. I use other people's pipes for it. In other words, if someone has weed, I'm like, hey, let me get a hit. And I'll take one or two hits, and I'm good. I don't be like, and then it tough, tough to give and all that. No, I'm like, one, maybe get another hit, and I'm good to go. I feel a little high. I don't get extremely high. I just get, hmm, I feel good. This is nice. Yeah. Oh, and someone made a comment about my eye. This eye here. I always forget which eye it is. This eye here. It's off. Oh, it is. I have um, a lazy eye. I was born with it. Nothing I can do about it. If I wear glasses, it will correct my vision. But I get 20-20 vision here, and I get crappy vision here. Crappy 20 here. And it's just what it is. Nothing I can do about it. If I get glasses, all it's going to do is it's going to be nothing for this eye, but it's going to be correcting this vision. But really and truly, I can see just fine because this eye kind of blurs out, and this eye acts as, as my main eye. If I ever lose this eye, well, that sucks, right? So I got a lazy eye. So what? And someone said, yeah, and you're gay because I made a comment about gay. Um, you know, gay people and how people should not discriminate against gay people. I mean, to me, I'm gay friendly. In fact, my roommate, my landlord is gay. And he lives with his partner who is gay. My wife is a woman. I'm not gay, but does it mean that I have to discriminate against gay people? I couldn't care less about gay marriage. It, it doesn't matter that if my roommate got married. Excuse me. Here in Texas, gay marriage is still illegal. But the thing is, if they did get married, and, and it is legal, it doesn't bother me that they get married. It it's like, okay, you got married. So what? I'm c congratulations. It, I feel just as glad if, if a gay person gets married as someone who is, who is a straight couple. It doesn't bother me. Gays in the military does not bother me. It doesn't. And... And the person made a comment on my blog, on my YouTube channel, saying, yeah, you're just as gay as your eye is lazy. 
okay, well, if I am gay-friendly, I guess that, that does make me gay, even though I never, ever had gay sex in my life. I don't even like gay sex with a woman. Sorry, I don't like anal sex. I, I don't like it at all with a woman or a man. And I've never done it with a man, so I don't know what it's like, but I've done anal sex with a woman, and I really didn't like it that much. It just, I like vagina, you know? I mean, I like straight, you know, regular sex, you know? And it doesn't bother me if you do like anal sex. Does it mean, if you like anal sex with a woman, does that make you gay? No, it doesn't. That's the point. It doesn't. In other words, who cares? <laughs> Sorry. Who cares? I feel there are a lot of things that don't make sense in this world, and it's that how people feel about other people. Uh, uh, people against who, people, how they feel against, you know, about blacks, about Japanese people, about North Koreans, about uh, Mexicans. Um, you know, it's, it's really sad against gay people, against lesbians, against, you know, gay marriage, against women who want to have abortion. Um, it's not happening to you, so why are you affected by it? There is supposed to be a separation in church and state. So don't involve your personal religious attitudes and opinions into the state. This is supposed to be a free country. Of course, you have all the freedom in the world, but it's a democracy. But your rights are your opinions. That's why we have government. That's why we have voting. What can you say? I live in a state that's primarily red. I'm on the blue side. Doesn't make me a bad person. I've never been to jail, never been arrested, and I'm a black man. I don't even know what a jail looks like, except for what I see on in the movies and on, on documentaries. Oh, there's a train going by. Ooh, I wish I could get it on video. I love trains. You probably can't see them because it's far away. There goes the train. Well, anyway, let me see if I can put this back up here. There we go. Okay. So, um, let's see. What else is going on in this life of ours? Uh, I didn't have a script. Like I said, I'm at my, my lunch break. Talked about my e-cigarette and how I don't like this particular atomizer. I'm going to go with the uh, with throwaway one, the disposable one. I think works better. It looks like I'm doing crack. <laughs> oh, shit. I think I'm going to end this video now. I'm just going to relax the rest of this lunch period. Peace out.